Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Remodel Hands with Mia. If you're new here, my name is Samia and I do content based around remodeling, home renovations, and all things DIY. I'm currently in the process of remodeling my childhood home and I create content around that. So if you would like to see content based on how you can fix up your home on a budget, because that is one thing we do over here, um, please do so. Consider following my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. We're not really remodeling. We're creating some storage for my garage. Since we've been remodeling the home, everything goes in the garage. We've been cleaning out a lot of areas and um, a lot of the stuff that I've tear down, like the mantle and excess wood, that's also where I work out of. So everything's in this garage i want to create a system or a storage system where we can store all of my tools um different clothes or just bins that are in the garage also we have a lot of bikes out there so i need to create a bike rack so today's goal is to create a storage shelves and a bike rack just so we can have a little bit more organization let's go ahead and get started if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up it helps my channel to go farther and reach more people so i can help others to create their home on a budget here is the mess that is my garage so i'm going to start off with just clearing out the space where i'm going to be building the shelves this is a lot of our christmas stuff so these bins and everything hold our christmas ornaments and the trees and everything like that so i'm just clearing it out the way so i can make way to build the shelves I'm going to be using my pressure washer as a guide for my first shelf because I will be storing my tools and the pressure washer is the tallest thing that I have under my first shelf so I'm using that as a guide to how tall I wanted the first one to be and I'm just screwing these um, two by three pieces of wood into my studs in the wall. I already used my stud finder and found all the studs so I'm just going off of that and screwing them in. I'm going to have three shelves but technically four because the floor is going to also serve as storage space and I'm just screwing those all into the wall with you can use three inch or three and a half inch screws to make sure that you actually hit the stud. For the next part, my camera did not record it, but I'm going to explain it the best way that I can. I screwed some 2x3s directly on the 2x3s that were screwed into the wall, into my studs, because I'm making the outer part of my shelf the easiest way I can because I was building by myself. So I screwed 2x3s uh, directly on those pieces so I can have the outer, outer part of my shelf. Then I went in and screwed some vertical pieces to service my legs and then once those are screwed in i am going to unscrew the ones that are directly on top of the ones on the studs take those screws out so i can have a second piece so you see i'm separating it that's going to be the outer part of my shelf so once i put in my shelf supports i don't have to build it i can just screw it in i am now using my pocket hole jig to make pocket hole screws for my shelf supports and i cut just two by threes down to 17 inches and each shelf will have four of these supports for my shelf so it can hold up the plywood once i put it on so i'm just screwing those directly into the two by three that's into the screwed into the wall and this will serve as my shelf supports So here I am bringing the outer shelf back in. This is the part that I built in the beginning and I'm just going to put those and I'm going to screw it directly onto those shelf supports so it'll have a nice hold and it lined up perfectly and then we're just going to screw those in. And once that's done, you can put your plywood on. Um, I'm just using some plywood that I bought at Home Depot and I got it cut down there. And I'm just sliding that on so I can have it for my shelf. And then you can screw that down so it won't move. Here is what the shelves look like once I finished building them. And they looked great. 
right now I'm getting ready to put the bike rack up um we have about four bikes in here that I need to store and right now they're just in the middle of the garage so I want to go ahead and mount them on this wall I bought some hooks and um, I'm going to attach the video that I actually got the idea from so he can have the credit but um I bought these bike I bought these bike hooks and you just kind of hang the bike on there but I'm going to go ahead and screw some 2 by 4s into the studs so they can have a good foundation to go on and I'm just going to put the four hooks in there so we can mount these bikes. So my shelves are actually 14 inches apart so that's what I'm measuring there. Okay so these are the bike hooks that I'm using. I bought ordered these off of Amazon and it's uh, I think that's Pretza. Um, it's heavy duty bike hooks and they do come with anchors in them but since I've used the wood plates I'm not going to use the anchors. I'm just going to screw those into the wood um, because it's not going into drywall or anything and those are screwed into the stud. So this is how thick it is. If you can see like that's pretty thick so I'm going to go ahead and get a drill bit and pre-drill some holes so I can just screw these in. So I am pre-drilling that hole with a drill bit and I'm going to just put my screw my bike hook into there and it went in really easily. I'm just didn't take too much force or anything like that. I just screwed that in but each bike hook is going to be 24 inches apart so separate it. I'm going to measure here in a minute and just make sure that they have a distance so those bike handles won't be hitting each other. And there's your bike rack. This took me no time to build. I probably did it in 10 minutes. Um, after your wood is cut down and everything, you just really drew the bike hooks in there and your bike rack is finished. I'm going to put my bikes, my helmet, my bike rack for my car and everything on here. And it held up really well. And that is all for my bike, my garage organization video. Thanks so much for sticking along with me y'all. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.